Today we are gonna be catching some exotic fish and invertebrates to feed all my epic pets. I see popping in the water right there, right in front of me now. So I'm gonna to toss this net on that, and that's where the fish are. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I got him for sure. Right on him. I got him for sure, guys. Right on top of him. Gonna be perfect. Right here. Oh. All right, guys. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some pilcher. We got some pilcher. These are perfect little feeders. Look at this guy. That is a beautiful, this is a perfect little first catch, a perfect little bait to feed my pets. And even if we see something cool around here, we might be able to catch him with this. Caught a bunch of these dudes in the net. This is just one of them right here. Let's get the rest in there. Now right, guys, I actually see a bunch more of them right here. A lot more pilcher than last time. So I'm gonna throw this net right on top of them. Hopefully you get like 10, that'd be perfect. Ready? Perfect, right on them. Here we go, we got them here. We got plenty in this one. We got plenty in this one, here we go. Perfect, look at that, let's go. We got a bunch of these dudes, look at that. That is perfect. We got about at least 10 in there. Look at all these guys. That is money right there. That is money, that's perfect first catch. I wanna catch more fish than this, but this is a perfect get for feeding the tanks. Even catch something cool in these canals. Guys, there's a baby stone crab right underneath me. I have such a big net. Yes. Got him guys, got him right here. Look at this stoner, look at this stoner. I don't know if he is actually a stoner, he's probably just a rock crab, but he's got some serious claws, dude. Look at him, he's like a freaking spider. Oh, if he gets me, it's gonna hurt pretty bad. Look at him right there, he's going back into the water. Whoa, 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 look at him like that. Whoa, did you see that? Look at the size of the claws on this dude. Look at that guy right there. That is one cool crab that I just netted off the side of the wall. Super easy catch. But this guy is too small to keep, and he would probably eat everything in my pond anyways. That's one big claw right here. Look at him. Pinching the thing. That's epic. Get this guy back in the water. Thank you for showing off to us, buddy. See ya. Oh, Kuda's gonna eat it. No! Kuda's gonna eat it. I'm gonna catch that Kuda right now. Guys, I just saw Kuda try to eat that crab when I threw him back in there. Luckily, he didn't eat him, but I'm gonna use one of our pilchard here. <gasps> He got him. Oh, he cut me off. No, no, that's the tricky part when fishing for the kudos, guys. Their, their teeth are so sharp. Oh my God, there's some mega fish. All right, guys, I'm hooking up another pilchard here. I just tied some wire on so we can actually catch a kuda or any toothy critter that swims in these canals, including sharks. If a shark does swim by, I could catch him. So here we go with wire. Oh my God, that was instant. That was instant. That was instant, guys. What in the world, bro? That was instant, dude. I barely got that filtered in the water. We already got a kuda. My goal today wasn't even to catch kudas, guys. It was to catch stuff to feed my quam. Here we are, catching kudas. Oh, flip him in. Oh my God, he's almost perfect. He's almost perfect size. This one could be perfect for the pond. I'd say, what, he's 20 inches? Yeah. Still looking for that 15 incher, guys. Now these guys have some of the most wicked teeth in the whole game here. So if I get bit by this thing, or if he nicks my leg or something, I'm gonna be bleeding for a while. So I gotta be careful with these little pincers here because he's got some energy and he choked it. Not to mention there's some of the most stinky fish in the ocean as well. Look at the teeth on this thing, dude. Absolutely gnarly, absolutely gnarly teeth, guys. That is one epic fish. Talk about a predator of the ocean. Let's get this guy back in the water. See you on the other side. That was absolutely epic. That was literally an instantaneous bite. I put the bait in for less than two seconds and he was already eating it. That's crazy. That's why I love catching pilchard. When you catch pilchard, you can do so many things with them. You can feed your pond and you can catch some awesome fish. Let's see what else is around here. This is a pretty fire area. All right, now that we've caught some pilchard, those are pretty beefy. I can maybe feed the sharks and the mantis shrimp with that and maybe the groupers. Now I want to try to catch small invertebrates that other things can munch on like my eels and even the shark probably like invertebrates a little bit better than fish. So I'm going to go around with this net and we're going to see what's around here. See if we can catch anything nice. Now grass shrimp are notorious for feeding along the seawall all in these canals, which is perfect because I have unlimited supply of free grass shrimp for my shark. And horn sharks really love to eat grass shrimp. So let's check out the size of these canals, see what's lurking about. Hopefully we can get a bunch of shrimp for that little dude. Mother load right here. Mother load. Got, got a bunch actually. Got the mother load, guys. The mother load. This is perfect for the shark, dude. He's gonna love these things. Look at all those shrimp popping around in the net there. An absolute ton of them. This guy's got eggs. It's a big one. Look at that big boy right there with the eggs in him. I'm gonna get all these guys in the bucket. We got tons of shrimp to feed. I'm I cannot wait to get that GoPro in the water and see if he wants to munch on these dudes. These are perfect for the tank. Let's look at this giant blue crab right here. Here we go. I gotta net this guy. Oh, I think you got him. He's so fast. He dipped out of there. He dipped out. You got glass minnows. Dipped out of there, guys. That was actually a bad throw. It's actually pretty good. Although I didn't catch that blue crab. That was my target, that big blue crab. I did catch a bunch of these guys. These little glass minnows here. I really wanted that blue crab, but he's just so fast and this net doesn't sink very quickly. I'm gonna try to catch a bunch of these guys and some more stuff. I really wanted that blue crab though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I left the rod out there. 
What is it? What do you think it is? It's probably nothing. I think it's, no, I think it's caught in the, yeah, it was caught in the rocks. <laughs> I actually thought, I think I was on for a second though. Thank you, Ruthie. Someone ate his eyes out. Maybe it was a crab. Honestly, he might have been a crab. Sorry, buddy. He's having a rough day. Just get him back in the ocean life. For those of you guys who don't know, my brand new horn shark that I got in last video is doing amazing. He made it through his first couple nights in the aquarium, so he's perfectly well in there. I actually fed him a little piece of shrimp a couple nights ago, but now I wanna see if he wants to eat some of the stuff that we caught today. We caught a bunch of pilchard and a bunch of grass shrimp, which is perfect for him. He absolutely loves grass shrimp. That's what I hear they love the most is grass shrimp. So I'm gonna get the GoPro in there and see if he wants to eat them. I also threw a bunch of glass minnows in the tank as well. There's a big herd of them. So I'm on the tank just in case he gets hungry at night he can pick off one of those guys one by one stalk them in the night because that's when he gets most active so a bunch of food for this guy i want to make sure he's fed and doing well at all times look at this baby <laughs> look at this pilcher i caught he's tiny this has got to be the smallest pilcher i've ever caught in my entire life he's so small and this is actually a perfect size one i can't believe we caught one this small it's a perfect size one for the horn shark. He's waking up a bit now, he's swimming around. Let's try to feed him this little baby pilchard here. All right, so I'm gonna use the feeding stick and see if he wants to eat the pilchard here. He's out and about swimming now, as you can see, there he is. So let's see if he wants to eat this guy. I don't know if he's gonna eat this pilchard, but we're gonna give it a shot here. Buddy doesn't want pilchard. Buddy does not want pilchard. Well, how about the Tesla eel? This is perfect size for him. And the yellow spot moray eel is always down. Look at him swimming out like that. It's crazy, he loves, he loves pilchard. This eel loves pilchard, takes him back into his sand hole. That is the weirdest eel so ever. Oh my God, that is so crazy when he does that. That is so weird how that eel takes him literally into the sand. So epic. Now I do also have some ghost shrimp. I caught a bunch of these guys, like maybe even 50 of these dudes. I have a feeling he's gonna want these instead of like a bigger meal, he's gonna like the grass shrimp. So let's drop these guys in, see if he wants to feed them. And because those shrimps are so small, he's probably gonna pick these guys off one by one in the middle of the night. So I'm, I'm sure he's not gonna eat one right now, but I am gonna try to feed him a little piece of shrimp just to show you guys if he does wanna eat. Just a little piece of frozen shrimp, just a small piece of frozen shrimp to see if he wants to munch on this so I can capture it on camera for you guys. All right, here we go with a little piece of shrimp. Let's see if he wants this. Oh, I think he smelled it. Oh, he likes shrimp. Let's go! Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. Probably come, he probably picked off a little piece of it. He'll probably come back for more in a second. That was sick, guys. Told you guys he's doing super well in here. He's got shrimps now. He's got some glass minnows to munch on. He's got tons of things to eat in this pond, and he's just doing so awesome. I'm so pumped about this guy. I want to get more sharks for this mini pond. I love him. We can't forget about our Tesla eel and our baby shark as well. The Tesla eats like a beast. He just is an endless pit of eating, that's all he loves to do. And the baby shark actually eats very, very well. Very well, he's doing fantastic. Soon when he's big enough, we'll move him with the horn shark, would be really cool. To see both of the sharks swimming around in there, that would be really, really awesome. Here's the little baby shark right here. That little dude eats like a beast. Look at him munching on that shrimp. He's so awesome, absolute beast. This yellowhead eel is a crazy. He literally will attack me, dude. That shark, that shark is munching on a nice meal and that yellowhead eel, oh, the, both the eels are fighting. Look at the yellowhead, he's out of the water. Oh my God, what is he doing? It's so weird, that is the weirdest thing I've ever owned, guys. It actually is weird. Is that yellowhead eel, he's the I'm not weirdest. really a fan. I'm not, I don't know, but I don't know about him. He's a savage, guys, he's really crazy. Oh, 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 that was epic. Let's go, <laughs> he got the pilcher. That mantis shrimp got the pilcher. Let's go, we took him into his cave. Guys, the mantis shrimp actually ate the pilcher. That was absolutely epic. Thank you guys for watching. We fed all my epic new exotic fish today, including the mantis shrimp, including the horn shark. Awesome day out on the water. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one, guys. Respect that reef, peace.